Hi, I'm going to show you Vinci client for a test. Uh, let's start with session profile. On the main screen we see properties which are typical to other VNC clients. It's the host name, display number and the optional VNC password. Uh, after starting the session we can see the remote screen and uh, perform any normal actions like launching applications and uh, typing something. During the session execution, uh, we can see application captures clicks, double clicks, uh, and uh, key typing key strokes. Also, if um, user points mouse to some element and uh, holds it for uh, some amount of time, by default it's two seconds, then we generate the mouse move action. Uh, also, there are several buttons on toolbar. Uh, the first one is a snapshot button, which just takes a screenshot of application and puts it to response images. Uh, the second button is uh, allows you to get server clipboard in case it's present. So if we select text here and copy it to clipboard, then this button becomes active and uh, when we press it, uh, the get clipboard action will be generated. And uh, the last button is capture target. Uh, when we press it, the screen goes to read-only mode, so no uh, refreshes appear, and uh, it is possible to select any part of image here. And uh, if we click enter, uh, the capture target action is captured. Mm. So now let's uh, close the session and uh, and uh, see what we can find in uh, capture review. So here is a list of actions that have been captured. Um, all VNC requests can be separated from two parts. Uh, mm. The first part is which relies on uh, location on the screen, it's mouse sections. Uh, they require a target which can be specified either by coordinates or, or by image. And the actions which not require, which not rely on the screen location, it's actions like snapshot, uh, keystrokes, and uh, getting server clipboard. So for all target actions during execution, we capture uh, what happened around the mouse and uh, put it to the response view. So uh, this later can be uh, later during test case execution, these images will be used for searching targets and also it allows to edit test cases in a convenient manner. So, for uh, comments which not rely on uh, target, uh, there is no response image. But for, for example, for get clipboard actions, there is also a textual response. Mm, now let's uh, create a test case which will make sure that on the remote Windows machine, uh, as, um, has, uh, that the remote Windows machine has uh, installed subversion. Uh, for example, let's uh, do it by checking that it is present, uh, presented in path environment variable. So we start in the session, uh, then go into start menu. Uh, I move mouse to start button and wait for, wait for a bit so that mouse move action is captured. Then clicking on it, then using hotkey I bring uh, run command view and opening command shell. Also, um, for better replaying and the easy image recognition, so that uh, to make sure that window always appears on the same place, let's maximize it. Max 
maximize and, uh, and then get in path environment variable. So now right clicking on the console to bring uh, the context menu and clicking on select all item and then hitting enter so um, now we can get a server clipboard close console and close the session and now let's create a test case from captured items So let's um, review our test case created from capture report and uh, see what we have here. So at first there is a mouse move to start button, that's correct. Then it's clicking on this button. Uh, also let's insert sleep step so that uh, start menu has some time to appear. And then we use hotkey to bring uh, run command view. Let's also give it some time. then we launch the console mm. we don't interested in this mouse moves so just removing them also let's insert sleep so that console launches uh, this is our hotkey for maximizing the window uh, First one is Alt P plus space, and the second is uh, X button. Let's uh, combine them into the single single action. So this is getting button mirror variable. Uh, the percent uh, character is encoded here in uh, curly braces because the percent sign by itself is used to identify alt um, alt k here is that's what we see here so also right clicking on the screen and uh, selecting text hitting enter and let's also give some time so that the uh, remote clipboard comes to our site and then getting clipboard action let us set uh, analysis rule so that uh, uh, this um, entry is present in path okay now we have analysis rule and the last action is ex closing the console so let's save it and execute During execution, the screen is in read-only mode, so we can um, easily browse through it, scrolling uh, without being afraid that something will be corrupted by our actions. So we see here a maximized console view. We see that uh, path command is already executed. And we see that there was a problem with our test case because <laughs> select all probably have not been found. Yeah, uh, the problem here is that uh, during previous action, right clicking we found the uh, wrong uh, black, sc black square and there were a lot of black, sc black space on the screen so but during this execution because of font rendering we couldn't find the exact image 
so we fell back on coordinates and as a result we missed uh, the target to avoid this uh, we can disable image search for this action so uh, that uh, these two actions will use coordinates so let's go back to uh, test case editor go to step properties for the first click action go to target and uncheck this box so uh, after this modification the VNC client will not search for specified image and uh, do the same for other action let's save it and exit it again console is here it's maximized uh, we see path uh, we see that text has been selected and we see that session closed and now our test case passes so mm, now let's review step properties we have here and uh, also other requests uh, which we were not using during this demo so let's start from mouse move step properties and mouse move um, and the main page allows to specify uh, which modifier keys should be pressed during this mouse movement and uh, how long we should be idle after moving the mouse to specified location so for example we can wait for tip appearance on the screen or something like that and the uh, target properties are very important and uh, they are also used in other target dependent actions so it's important to understand them so uh, there are several properties like coordinates uh, checkbox where the we should search for image or use coordinates uh, how long we should wait for this target and uh, what we should do after failure so if image is not found by default uh, the VNC client will just use coordinates mm, but if we want to do generate execution issue we just uncheck this box so also we if we want to use exact XY coordinates we can just uncheck this box that's it and also base 64 image is quite big but it can be can be copied to other requests so for example you can change mouse move to click and uh, just copy uh, this image and click properties are very similar to mouse move properties so again we have here ability to select modifiers Again, we have target, but also we are specifying mouse button here. Right now, there are three supported values, uh, left, middle, and the right. And uh, also, there is a validate. And um, whether it is uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter. So I can type here something like right to change it. And uh, send keys action doesn't has its own properties it completely relies on command and uh, it allows to specify for case and uh, for exact reference it is uh, so for exact format it is better to refer to vnc documentation so for example to type alt tab we can use something like alt tab Also, double click action, uh, which is not presented here, has the same properties as click and the same command. Get clipboard doesn't have has any properties and commands at all. Uh, 
other actions uh, which uh, we are not using in this test case are allowed to emulate some complex uh, low level behavior so for example we can use mouse down or mouse up and also k down and k up but uh, these actions are really mm, uh, k down and k up actually are not very useful i guess but mouse down and mouse up can be used to simulate drag and drop so for example to simulate drag and drop if it's possible at first uh, record a session with clicks and mouse moves and then manually convert uh, appropriate mouse moves to mouse up and mouse down and that's it also there is an action set clipboard which sends any specified text to the server clipboard so it can be used to interchange some information for so for example we can specify some i test variable here or just any constant text and uh, then later use something like send keys control v to insert this text to some text box Thanks for watching. Bye.